I just thought that I would show you something else that I'm working on, another soon to be finished sweater. This one is a collaboration with my daughter and I. It's our farm yarn and she's a lot faster knitter than I am. And so she made this great big cabled cardigan for me. It is a Sloan Rosenthal pattern and I'll have to look for the name of it. It's knit in pieces and seamed and I don't mind seaming. I am however going to go ahead and seam it and then pick up the sleeves and knit them in the round going down I think. That's my plan anyway. But I just wanted to show you one thing. This yarn that the sweater is knit out of is Cordell and Alpaca. No I'm wrong this is a hundred percent Cordell. Our farm yarn that was spun at the mill quite a little while ago. And seaming, this is a pretty thick yarn, and I don't want such a bulky seam. So seaming, I'm going to use the same yarn, our Coradale yarn, but spun in a heavy fingering light sport weight to do the seaming. That's a pretty common tip. Maybe you guys already know it, but I just thought I'd share that. And I just kind of laid the pieces together. They're already blocked. And then I put the pieces together with usually just some wooden double pointed needles just to kind of hold them steady until I get started. So that's one of the things I'm working on this blustery gray November day. What are you guys up to? Do you have any seaming tips? This is the name of the sweater, <clears throat> excuse me, that I just showed you that my daughter made for me. I'm going to make the sleeves and do the seaming. I love Sloan's patterns. And today's lunch, delicious cabbage soup with carrots and onions, little bits of celery and parsley from the garden. Tastes so good today. <laughs> 